Guys, it's the Long Couch here, and I wanted to say welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered with Joel and Ellie. And me, Long Couch. Well, guys, if you watched that last episode, you know that uh, Sam and Henry are no longer with us through a series of unfortunate events. A lemony snickets. What the fuck is a lemony snicket? I don't even know what that means. But we've had a bit of a time shift here. It is now fall. We are in Jackson County in Wyoming on the Snake River Trail. And this area of the game has some of my favorite graphics. Just as far as, like, the foliage and the environment. It's a really beautiful portion of the game. Which I guess makes sense because we are in Wyoming, which is supposed to be a pretty beautiful country. So, we're going to uh, take our time, look around, make sure we grab everything, see all the sights. Probably going to be a bit of a lower key episode. I think we got a good rhythm going as far as, you know, low-key episode, high-paced, uh, fast-paced, high-action episode. This game does a pretty good job of that stuff. Keeping you guessing. Oh, what have we here? What happened between you two? What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so clearly something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, here we go. So what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it? The last time you saw him? I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. But he's gonna help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, if they're without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. Endure and survive, right, Ellie? Yeah, you know what? Tommy's my brother. We might have had a slight disagreement. He might have told me to fuck off and never see him again, but... What's a little world-ending disagreement between brothers? You know what I'm saying? Oh ho ho, look at this! Fuck yeah guys, we got the El Diablo, which is kind of like a, uh, a magnum, I guess you'd call it, with an actual scope on it. And since I am, uh, reluctant to put the scope on the actual rifle, it's kind of good that this thing came along. I forgot that it was right here, but that's great. New section of the game, new environment, new weapons. It's really good for taking things out of the distance, obviously. Just follow the river. It'll lead us straight to Tommy's. Come on. Follow the river. So already you guys can hear in the dialogue that uh, Joel and Ellie are maybe a little closer than they were before. You know, Joel is opening up about some things in his past that he probably wouldn't have talked about before. That's, that's, I can't go that way. I can't drop down there. I don't know, like, exactly how much time has passed since uh, the events that we just witnessed in the last video. But, obviously it's a new season. And I know that from Wyoming, or rather I should say from Pittsburgh to Wyoming... It's about 1,800 miles, give or take a couple of hundred. Um, I know that because I looked it up on Google Maps because I was really curious. So they've covered a lot of ground and come a long way. They're basic they basically went from the East Coast to the West Coast of the United States. For all you foreign viewers uh, who may not know a whole lot about the geography of the United States, they basically went from the East Coast to the West Coast. So, you know, earlier in the game when we went from Boston to Pittsburgh, that was about 500 miles. And you, you might recall they did that by car. They had that truck that we got from Billstown. So I imagine that went relatively quickly. Whereas this, we really have no idea what happened between all that time. But you kind of assume that they did most of it on foot. Because we don't have a vehicle now. Oh, a comic book. Comic Savage Starlight, Foreign Elements, Book 5. 
kind of feel bad taking all this stuff from all these dead people that are just laying around all corpsified and gross. But you know what? They don't need it anymore. And I do. It also seems kind of weird that that guy's last possession in this world was a comic book, of all things. Look at that water, guys. Oh, it's so good. That's some PS3-ass water, hd -ified and up -res. And it looks amazing. I think they really they did like a really great job with the architecture in this game. Like that bridge, that totally looks like a bridge you would see in America. And like the geometry of those rocks. Looks very believable. You can tell they just spent a lot of time lovingly crafting it. It uh it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. How does it do that? Look, I know what it is, I don't know how it does it. Alright. How are we getting across? Well, therein lies the question, Ellie. I don't actually know how that works either. It spins the turbines and creates some kinetic energy and yada yada yada. That's about all I know. I work in a nuclear power plant, alright? I don't need to know this shit. Nuclear's better anyway. Alright, is this gonna be a shiv door? Jesus, can I make a shiv? I really hope I can. Whoa, where did I get all those... What the fuck? I've got full blades and I have a shiv. They totally reset my items. No, no they didn't. This is the same stuff I had before, except... Now I have a shiv. I don't remember making one of those. Did I find one somewhere, or... Oh, but it's not a full shiv. You bastards. Alright, well, we'll make one. Use the last of our tape. There you go. I'll take the arrows. Thank you very much. I guess I'm full on those now. Explosives. Oh, man. So, what do I got? What am I working with here? Let me uh, go ahead and reload this gun right here I can fit one more bullet in there now my bat only has two uses so that sucks one shotgun shell that's not a lot but five rifle shots so we'll keep that on tap for now and I'm good on arrows so I can go back to using those a fair decent amount before I mess with that, let's see if she has anything to say down here. This is probably the first time she's seen anything like this. She probably has, like, no concept of energy and what it's like to have, like, lights and TVs and shit like that. Come on, Joel. Well, that gets us halfway. If we get the other one up, we'll make it across. That's a good call, Ellie. I'm glad you're paying attention. All right, looks like we're gonna have to take a swim, fellas. I'll find something. Just hang tight. I can only imagine how dirty and disgusting this water is after 20 years of an apocalypse with nobody, like, cleaning and filtering this shit. You know, water treatment plants have been gone for a good long while. I guess it's just all natural, right? You know, the flip side of that is that you don't have humans polluting it anymore, so... I guess it all balances out in the end. But you do have toxic fungal infections dead corpses and spores and all kinds of horrible shit getting into it. Alright, I think we gotta go into that structure there. Let me refill my air. Because otherwise I'm gonna drown. Oh god. Oh god, he's not going down further. Maybe there's a better way to get in here. Hold on a second.
Hey, there we go. I don't even know what I'm looking for in here. There's not actually anything in here, and now I'm going to drown in a second. Get up there. Okay, so this is a section here where I don't actually remember what the hell I'm supposed to be doing, so we're gonna have to look around for a second here and just figure something out. I really thought there'd be something in here to collect. At least something to pick up, you know? crap up here, but none of it's actually collectible. Alright, let's take a look over on this side for a second. Is there something we unjam over here so that we can actually twist that around? No. Okay, well that looks like a board that we could have Ellie ride on. I guess we have to find a way to dislodge it, maybe? Maybe if we come at it from the bottom, we can push it up out. There we go. Not sure how I missed that the first time. It's your favorite part, Ellie. I need you to. I know. Step on the fucking pallet. <laughs> oh, she's got an attitude. I actually love that though. When you think about it, the developers had to have a sense of humor about that too, because they had to actually write that stuff in, and they just know, like, they know through the character how ridiculous it is that you keep having to do this. Like, how many times could this really happen in a journey like this? But the fact that they're self-aware about it makes it fucking hilarious to me. Oh, give it a spin. Good job, Ellie. Hey, be careful crossing that thing. I will. She did that shit faster than I did. Teamwork. Yeah! Oh, it's so cool. I got to high-five Ellie. I wish I could high-five her all the time. Hmm. Tape? I think we're actually supposed to be going... Wait, hold on. I think up there's the way forward, so let me double back here. Take a look around. Oh dear. That's too small. Great. Got to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? I mean, what? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen, and we move on. It's just... That's enough. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get the Tommies. Alright, well I guess they're not that close yet. Because Joel is really not ready to open up about that kind of shit. Sorry, Ellie. Maybe later. Um, hold on a second. Now I'm thinking that's the correct way to go. Let me just take a look up here. Make sure I'm not missing any supply closets or any shit like that. Or maybe this just, this just wraps around. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happens. Alright, no problem. Gotta cover every angle, right guys? I know, I am too. 
get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. <laughs> Little smart ass. A hunting mechanic would be kind of fun in this game, but ultimately, it, I don't know how much it would add to it. I've never really played a game where I was, like, happy that there was... Like, hunting is a good thing to add as, like, an optional thing in a game, but as, a, like, a core element, it just gets tedious, I think. That was one of the major complaints about Metal Gear Solid 3. My favorite Metal Gear Solid game... But eventually, the hunting and eating mechanic just kind of got old. Uh, should we head in? Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. Uh-huh. Hey, hey, look. That stuff. I think that gave me enough. Actually, I already had enough. I was just not paying attention. Alright, so the next level is uh, Weapon Sway 2. That's 100. That's a little bit of ways off, but let's see. Uh... That already seems pretty damn stable. I mean, not perfect, but stable enough that anyone who's not terrible should be able to get some decent headshots off. If you go back and compare that to uh, when I looked through that scope in the beginning of the video, I think you'll see a noticeable difference. I think I remember a noticeable difference. Oh yeah, stuff. Give me all the stuff. Did I get enough to uh, make another shiv? Yes, I did. I think I should do that right now. And actually, I'm full on almost everything else too. Do I want to make another nail bomb? I think I should hold off with the amount of shiv doors and everything that have been popping up. Let's make a sugar bomb just to clear that stuff out of the way. And we can't use any of that stuff, so no point in it. Hey, look, a map! North Teton Power Network, Wyoming. North Teton Dam. I hope that's how you pronounce that. What? Oh, they're just telling me that's the way forward. So that's one of those deals where they give you maps in this game, but they don't actually do anything useful for you. Like, they don't correspond to the gameplay. They don't lead you anywhere. As far as I can tell, anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't get it. But I've never found a use for the maps that you find. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a spaceship. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, what I think a spaceship is. What? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that dialogue before. Okay. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie? Do as the lady says. Hey. Please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> and all is forgotten. Yeah, baby brother. Goddamn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You get fucking old. <laughs> Easy. It's gonna happen to you too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. Oh! We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Well, Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. I am so happy that they brought Tommy back. 
been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get it running again. Okay, I didn't want to interrupt them, but we found Tommy, guys. We're in the hydroelectric dam with our dear old brother. I'm so happy. And that's right where we'll pick up next time. Get to explore this, pal around with Tommy, find out what he's been up to. I'm excited, guys. I hope you are, too. Thanks for watching. I'm The Long Couch. This is The Last of Us Remastered, and I'll see you in the next part. Later.